What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Moltman episode. Taking a break from the hunting scene just for a day and uh, me and the old Mysterious. They want you back by the way. Yeah, right. They saw your video and they said, where has he been? <laughs> they want you back. Y'all leave it in the comments if y'all want to see Brad back on the video game. But we are in somewhere in Texas at, what is this place called? Chickens and Honey. Oh no. Bird and beef. Birds and Bee Farm. And we are buying birds. Brad's getting turkeys. I brought a cage too. I don't know what I'm going to get. But I want to surprise Ryder with some new animals today. So I may get some turkeys. May get some guineas. I don't know. May just end up with chickens. I may not get anything. I don't know what we're going to do. But we're about to meet this lady and see what they have. And uh, I think we're going home with some birds. I thought about bringing my big cage, but then I was like, eh, I ain't buying that many. Anymore. Oh yeah, they got birds. Look at these. What kind of chickens are these? Six different varieties of chickens and combine them together. And so they have muffs, a beard, feather feet, and have five toes instead of four. Oh, those, are, those are turkeys or chickens? Chickens. Chickens, yeah. Now you're getting you're getting a lot of yucky turkeys you have in the house. Baby turkeys. I wonder how old those are. Oh, you're getting little guys. Yeah. Well, even the difference between these two pins right here is about five days. Really? And how old are these? Uh, these were hatched August 24th. Well, Brad got six. Now we gotta figure out what I'm gonna get. I love, we love Africa. Yeah, this is, this is Africa. All right, guys, so I decided to get two birds. I got to get a tom and a hen. They're three months old, so I only have to keep them in the coop for a couple of days, and then I can let them out, and they'll roost in the trees at the house. So he's going in right now to catch them. Is that the hen or the tom? That's a girl. Girl. All right, we got a girl caught. Yeah, just, yeah, hold on. yeah don't open it up too much. Yeah, so I go by this little, that little thing right there. So. That's a girl. Now for the tom. That's a hen, isn't it? Good catch. Yeah, that's a boy. It is? Yeah. Awesome. That was easy enough, huh? We loaded up 34 and put them this morning. Jeez. Out of this pen? No, no, oh. I have another pen that was just raised just for us. This is kind of the extra pen for people who want the onesies and twosies. But I, I catch them at night with the red light so I can right. just pick them up. Yeah. All right, well, I ended up buying turkeys. <laughs> so I got a tom and a hen. And he said if I keep them in the coop for a few days, 
and then let them out they should stay around and roost in our tree so we'll see if that happens or not i'll keep you all posted brad got six you got six six you got all hens too no, I didn't. I better <laughs> you, not have. you may have no. but i'm headed home i'll see you guys when we get to the house and i'm gonna show you a few more things Ryder, come here. What? Ryder, come here. Surprise. What are you saying? A surprise? Yes. <laughs> a pie. I just got you a surprise. What? Look. What? Look in there. What is that? What is it? Yes. What is it? Yes. Tell, it, me, tell me what it is. What is that in here? Turkeys. I open. You got turkeys. We gotta go put them in the cage. What's out, Daddy? You ready to see them? Yes. Open. See them? Yes. Is that cool? Hi, Turkey. Ducky, Turkey, Yamia. Yeah, those are turkeys. I touch them. You want to touch them? No. You want to touch their tail? Yes. Touch them. See, they're out. Um, See them? I get down. I mean, I get down. All right, guys. Well, Ryder likes his turkeys. He named them one and two. I actually just finished up the pigeon coop that I was working on, so I could put them in there and not have to worry about them being uh, in with the chickens. So. They are in their coop. Now I have to go get another water because we got too many animals. The pig, pigeons, turkeys, chickens. So I gotta go get some uh, a waterer and a feeder. And then when I get back, I'm gonna show y'all what I've been working on. I've been practicing with the bow I made and I'm gonna be taking it out. This weekend is opening weekend for bow hunting in Texas. And uh, Ricky Bobby's getting big. He's probably, I bet he's 45 pounds now. He, he's still got his stripes though. I don't know how. So I'll see you guys when I get back. I'm going to go get a water and a feeder. And uh, I'm going to shoot the old trad bow. and uh, Or the self bow. I'll show you the uh, improvements I've made on it. Guys, made up a little makeshift wrist strap whatever you want to call it leather strip because this thing pops the heck out of my arm but saturday i got a buck lined up it's still in velvet right now actually it's just an old super old seven point uh and i got a tree eight yards from the feeder so i'm gonna try to get up in that tree and shoot this buck with the osage bow that i made and uh See if we can get it done. So I've been, so I've been practicing at ten yards. Got it all strung up. So I backed it with rawhide, and uh, it turned out awesome. Got the string from Gill's Primitive Archery, my buddy Ryan, and got a little finger tab. Oh, something that I've never done before is shoot. Um, with all my fingers below the arrow I usually split it but my aim was I was looking above the arrow so now following Clay Hayes I can look down the arrow and I'm 99% more accurate doing it this way so let's see what let's see what kind of three uh, arrow group I can get out of my homemade self bow made out of Osage Orange Got one. Still got my arm with this leather strap. It hurts. Hurts pretty good. Gum. 
Got him. Got him. Did he get him? Yeah. Got him. So, let's go look at this three arrow group. 10 yards with a self bow. I'm high, but I know where I'm at. So i am got about a four inch group. What do you think? Will it kill a big buck? You gonna pull them for me? Hard. Yeah, it's hard. Oops. All right, so I brought my shot down. Perfect. Going. Got two right next to each other, one in the middle. Oh. Yeah. Pretty dang solid at uh at ten yards. We're hitting we're hitting the lungs for sure on a deer. So I'm I've just been gonna keep practicing with it. Got three days and uh, he's been coming in pretty much every evening. I don't know if I'm gonna make it opening evening, but we're gonna try our hardest. So that is the Osage self bow. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog style video today. Uh, I'm so pumped about opening day on Saturday. Got a lot more practice to do with the self bow and if you're wondering, I'm pairing it with a um, iron wheel broadhead. I'll show you what that looks like. putting on it big old iron wheel I really wanted to make my own uh, nap my own arrowhead but we're still gonna do that this year I'm gonna try to get a either a buck or a doe out at the lease uh, doing that I just want to take the opportunity while these deer are consistent I have them patterned actually Judd my brother-in-law has them patterned very very good so I'm gonna go out there tomorrow with him and we're gonna set up everything that way i can leave it alone for a few days and saturday afternoon i'm gonna get in there and hopefully whack this buck with the old self bow and hopefully he's still in velvet that'd be so cool to shoot a texas buck in velvet because it is very rare so like i said hope you guys enjoy this video y'all stay tuned if you want to support the channel hit that subscribe button or go to moltman.net and get shirts hats hoodies spices and moltman bait co baits uh, and until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.